Hi guys, it's Eric Beard. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I want to talk a little bit about my journey here in the fitness industry just for a few moments. I'm currently at the Longfellow Sports Club in Natick, Mass, where I've been the fitness director and a master trainer here for about eight years. Uh, but I had some humble beginnings in the industry while I was going to Springfield College in beautiful Springfield, Massachusetts. Go Chiefs. I don't care what they say about changing the name. We're not pride. We're Chiefs, baby. Uh, I was actually a rehabilitation services major. But because of my passion for health and fitness and for exercise, I got into doing personal training with John Marcotte, who was the director of the Wellness Center, who has gone on to do wonderful things within Cybex. So, John, thank you so much for my first opportunity in the health and fitness industry. So, moving on from being a chief, I had gone on to massage therapy school. And as soon as I get out of massage therapy school, I had my own massage therapy practice, but wanted to build my business for massage therapy. So, I kind of got back into personal training. And I got my first real job. Sorry, Springfield. I was not qualified as a personal trainer. I helped some people and had a lot of fun. I had clients lose weight and feel better and move better, but it, I really didn't know what I was doing. But I got my first real job at 24-hour fitness. This was my first career job. Did my massage therapy, had my own office on the side. Well, I got into training and started part-time with training. It's built up to full-time, and then massage therapy went to, to part-time. Went on to managing clubs for 24-hour fitness, uh, moving on through larger and larger clubs and doing more and more revenue with my uh, teams and staffs there and eventually got into new hire training where I was able to facilitate the new hire training for the fitness staff for the entire region of Colorado for 24-hour fitness and that was a pretty big feat. It's the largest health club chain in the world. So 24-hour fitness had some wonderful experiences there. I was able to grow and learn tremendously. And my wife and I uh, found out that we were having our first baby so we wanted to move back to Boston and um, they didn't have 24-hour fitness there, so my wife went on to monster.com and found out about this company. That's right, BSC, the Boston Sports Club. And I uh, got a job there at the Central Square Club working as the fitness manager. Had worked my way up to be able to grand open the downtown crossing location, which was the flagship club. It's now the corporate office. I then got into becoming a faculty member for TSI, or the parent company for Boston Sports Club, and eventually became the regional training manager before I moved over here to the Longfellow Sports Club. Now, while I was at the Longfellow Sports Club, and I've had some wonderful relationships with different companies and organizations. I've gotten to work for them along the way from Life Fitness Academy, working as a, pop, a product trainer for them, as well as a content, content generator for multiple projects and working at trade shows with them, to working with the New England Academy of Tennis, directing their performance enhancement programs and running a staff of uh, performance enhancement specialists that are working with that group. Still do a little bit of work with the groups now, but I've done more so uh, in the past. I've also gotten to work with the California University of Pennsylvania, Go Vulcans, baby, and have taught some of their online programs and both their bachelor's and master's program. And kind of while I was here at the sports club, have gotten to experiment with lots of different companies and contribute in multiple different ways to the industry. So both literally and figuratively, I've, I've worn different hats and Wearing different hats has helped me grow and learn in multiple different ways. So instead of just being a personal trainer or just being a manager or just being a presenter, I've got this excellent mix of experience, uh, my passion, corrective exercise, and manual therapy. And I got that really fueled my interest to learn more about Fever National Academy of Sports Medicine, who I've been working with for about seven years. So I've been at the Longfellow Sports Club for eight years, been working with the National Academy of Sports Medicine for just over seven years. And I've made a very difficult decision, but an exciting decision, to leave the Longfellow Sports Club, to no longer be the fitness director and master trainer at the Longfellow Sports Club, and to work full-time for the National Academy of Sports Medicine. It was a very difficult chant, uh, decision to make. Longfellow has been great to my family and my personal development and my growth and allowing me to learn and do so many different things. But this transition to the National Academy of Sports Medicine is going to help to further my development. I'm going to learn more about project management, um, writing, uh, assembling information, becoming a better presenter, and contributing at a very different level to the industry. And I'm very gracious uh, about my opportunity to work for National Academy of Sports Medicine for NASM for this long, and to now have a full-time position with them it is uh, really something I've been dreaming about for a long time. So I'm very happy that it's been able to transition that way. Very difficult, but very exciting at the same time. So I'm now the virtual coordinator uh, for the National Academy of Sports Medicine. I'll be working from home mostly in the Boston area, and I'll still be traveling and teaching, but I'll be doing uh, uh, some of the other jobs that I talked about, the content uh, development and generation, developing other projects and developing online coaching programs and working with social media. Just another wonderful step in my development. I've been very fortunate to have 
companies to work from and people to work with and mentors to learn from along the way. And I hope you're in an opportunity like that where you get to learn from people and you get to give back at the same time. And just think even if it's not the perfect situation for you right now, there's got to be some sort of skill or behavior that you can learn that's going to contribute to you further down the line which will help you advance in your career. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Just some exciting news that I wanted to share. And I look forward to seeing you guys and staying in touch soon. Thanks so much.